Deserts are usually dry places, but in this desert it rains blood. Let's open the serial killer files. <laughs> Dust 2 is a fairly normal map, known for its simplicity and frequent playtimes. The city itself was nothing spectacular and most people knew it by heart, but nobody could have expected a serial killer to be amidst the usual townfolk. Life was not easy for Pete Reisman. Being the child of an American soldier deployed in the Middle East, his father left the family when he was only a year old, leaving his mother alone with the child. As he grew up, he despised his father, wanting nothing to do with him. He eventually finished the police academy and soon after got promoted to being a counter-terrorist. He participated in many successful counter-terrorist actions, rescued hostages and even disarmed bombs. But he never saw combat deployment, as the SEAL Team 6 was known for its ability to avoid combat, resolving terrorist situations with speed and ambushes, and arresting the culprits. But not this day. Peter got his first impression of combat when a terrorist situation went wrong and eventually got bloody. Armed with nothing but a pistol, he set out into the fray and eventually made his first kill on an unknown terrorist. Adrenaline rushed through his body and he picked up the terrorist P90 submachine gun, wondering what just happened. As he was in his trance, he heard another terrorist approaching and shot the man as he saw him. The two kills caused a chain reaction of sorts and fueled his later killings. The man was carrying an AWP, an Arctic Warfare Police sniper rifle, which Peter immediately picked up and marveled in its beauty. He had heard about bolt action rifles and took a liking to them. Peter became quite a sharpshooter. He would continually get shots through smoke screens and made a habit of claiming a long as his turf and would be quick to dispatch every rushing terrorist down the road. Going back, back. But this did not satisfy Peter. His thirst for blood culminated and eventually he fled from the counter-terrorists and joined a terrorist strike force known as the Elite Crew. He made his first kill on the very site he once claimed, shooting down a counter-terrorist with his dual brothers. He would kill whoever and whatever he could, killing men with tasers, butchering people in the pit, and even planting bombs near chemical disposal crates. His sniper skills proved useful even with terrorists, as he had not lost his sharp eyes, and would mow down people using the AWP, eventually ending one counter-terrorist action with his own bullet. If you have any information on the individual in question, contact the Steam profile on the screen right now or call your local Overwatch volunteer. That's all in this file. Thank you for watching and see you next time.